So this probably looks like a piece of wood painted black. Well, that's exactly what it is. But it is underneath the front bumper of my Cavalier Z24. And you can also see you got some uh, homemade, I don't know what you call them, wheel aerodynamic uh, attachments that you see kind of a lot more on the modern cars. Well, over the winter time, I've been doing some education, I guess you call it, on aerodynamics. And because this is an old 1980s style car, aerodynamics were not exactly thought of back then. So let's see if I can get this whole thing in here. So you can see it kind of goes from the right from the front bumper all the way back to the oil pan. And it helps basically direct wind underneath underneath the car. It is still, still not definitely not perfectly smooth underneath there back there at all but what i also did was build a rear uh, air diffuser i guess basically for the back bumper i'll show you that as well once you get the car out of here and i can get underneath that back back uh, bumper a little bit better so over the winter i've been kind of trying to educate myself on aerodynamics and how and what i can do to make this thing faster without actually adding more boost to it so what i did was add they, these pieces in here. Did a bunch of research. Those are 40 millimeters wide and they're part of my old toolbox tray. And I put one on each side. Uh, you can also see that's a different tire over there. That is a slick that I just bought, uh, 24.5, like I was talking about in one of my last videos. Yeah, but uh, I'm just doing some test fitting while I had this up in the air and it looks like it'll work. So we'll uh, see how those work next time I'm at the track. But I wanted to see if that makes a difference and I tried to keep everything the same as much as I could and I'll go through and I'll show you even my uh, boost charts and everything on the tuner studio software and but I would and I'll show you my time slips but I was uh, quite surprised on what the results were so this is the under tray I built for the rear bumper it's more of a just a plate to stop air from going into the rear bumper and it's having less parachute effect than an actual diffuser. Uh, it doesn't have the uh, rakes and whatever else you want to call on those things uh, that the high-end race cars build. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it looking stock from the outside, but also making it faster in the quarter mile. I also built these plates in behind the wheels so that it couldn't get air in from off the rear tires and thrown in behind that uh, plate and uh, again causing more of that parachute effect and slowing it down. So I want to give you an idea on how I decided I wanted to do this aerodynamic testing with the car and any changes I made to it and I want to make it look like it wasn't you know didn't want to change the look of the car much I just wanted to keep it as look pretty much looking the same way it already did, but with making it a little more better aerodynamically as I could and uh, see what effect it would have on the quarter mile drag racing times. So this is my best run, or sorry, my fastest mile an hour run uh, from 2022. It was done on May 20th of 2022. The actual time slip showed 106.91. Um, so I decided to run same, Everything I could the same. I had the same street tires, uh, Firestone Indy 500, sorry, Firestone Firehawk Indy 500 tires, uh, 205, 55, 16. And I ran it again, and I also made sure I didn't have any more boost than I had last year. So if you, so if I go here, this is in the top, this is in fourth gear when I shifted to fourth. And if I kind of average it out here, you can see right here, uh, it's about, 11.08 on an average boost. So and this is from, like I said, May 20th of 2022. So I went back again in May of this year uh, with the changes made. So if I go over here and I open up one of my last ones, I believe it was May 12th and I believe it was this one here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll load that up and we'll find where the actual run is so here we go so we're gonna go back to that one we're gonna yeah, we do the same thing so right about here is where we hit our peak boost in fourth gear and if we kind of average that out as well so you can see on 11.29 so pretty much the same amount of boost uh, as when i did the run last year 
and same tires, same everything. I actually probably had a little bit more weight from, first of all, the aerodynamic things I added, uh, like the front um, panel underneath and then the rear diffuser. And then I also had, I think, a little bit more fuel this year than I had last year. I had uh, like between three quarter and a full tank of uh, gas. And I, on this run, I actually got it up to 107.4, uh, doing the exact same uh, everything. Uh, I actually had a worse 60 foot time on this one. I think I only had two point, uh, where is it here? I had only 2.20 60 foot time, where on the one last year I had a 2.11 60 foot time. Uh, again, on street tires, you're not going to hook up great, especially on a powerful front wheel drive car. And so I'll go through the comparison on the time steps, and I'll show those both to you and show you where the gains was and where the losses were. So we'll do that next. So here are my two time slips side by side, just to try to give you a, as best comparison that I can. So on this side here, you can see I had a, a 2.11 60 foot time where this one was only a 2.2. So that slowed me down a little bit in the first eighth mile. Uh, so we get up to, when you get up to the eighth mile, you can see on the last year I did 83.79, where this year I was only 83.17. So it was actually slower by the eighth mile in, in uh, mile per hour. And uh, the time was 8.79 on, 797 so we'll call it 8.8 .8. uh, and this one I was 8.95 so definitely definitely slower overall there uh, I finished this one at 1339 and this one was at 1353 um, but here's the difference a big difference is what I was looking for is the 106.91 again that was my best mile an hour last year ever even on street tires or slicks uh, but on this one this is only my second run I was at 107.42, and just actually to show you, my first run that day was this one here. Uh, we're on the, this side here, right here. I was at 107.21. So my very first run this year, and I was already faster than mile an hour wise than any run I'd done last year. And remember, the only change I've done was the aerodynamics. And as you can see here, it really picked up the difference in the back half so on after the eighth mile and obviously that's where the aerodynamics is going to make a difference because that's when you're going fast um because you know when you're going slower aerodynamics has less effect so and that was really what i was trying to get at with this experiment was trying to see what effect it had on drag racing because you don't see much stuff out there about drag racing and aerodynamics and uh unless you're talking about high-end you know super race cars uh this is just a 1980s style street car that uh, i'm trying to push down the track as fast as possible. So basically I gained between here and here, I gained almost about 0.5 mile an hour between the two slips. But where I was really kind of surprised was I gained between, if you do the math between the 83.79 and the 106.91 versus the 83.17 and the 107.42, I picked up an extra mile an hour versus this one versus this one. I think this one was 23 something, this one was 24 something. If it, I did the math before, but I don't recall now. Um, but so it's uh, just want to give you guys a kind of a look into what I've been trying to do to make this car even better without stressing out the engine anymore. So basically by making it, you know, flow through the air easier at the top end, you're picking up free horsepower. Uh, funny part about this was it was almost the date was very close, May 20th to May 12th. And even the number that they gave me last year was 227. This year was 226. So just a kind of funny coincidence, but... Hopefully uh, you find this interesting. I thought it was kind of an interesting thing to, to see and how it uh, works and how it affects uh, the cars that uh, we're taking on the track. Have a good look, guys. We'll talk to you later. Seven point four.